What's up YouTube, Lucas here. And today I'm gonna to look at how curcumin can interact with the endocannabinoid system, much like cannabis. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button below. And let's get stuck into today's video. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a particular study that looks at how curcumin can interact with the endocannabinoid system in the brain. And this is part of its antidepressant effect um, that many people may experience when they use curcumin. So the study was titled the CB1 receptor mediated endocannabinoid signaling and nerve growth factor, NGF, the novel targets of curcumin. So curcumin has shown promising antidepressant effects. However, its molecular targets have not been well defined. Based on the interaction between the neurotrophins and endocannabinoid system, as well as their contribution to the emotional reactivity and antidepressant action, here we show that four-week treatment with curcumin Similar to the classical antidepressant amitriptyline results in sustained elevation of brain nerve growth factor and endocannabinoids in a dose dependent and region specific fashion. Our findings, our findings by presenting the CB1 receptor mediated endocannabinoid signaling and NGF as novel targets for curcumin suggesting that more attention should be focused on the therapeutic potential of herbal medicines, including curcumin. So clearly this is a, an interesting finding because most of us associate curcumin with its simply anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant effects, protecting the liver, um, having neuroprotective effects. But now we can see that there is a crossover between curcumin and the endocannabinoid system. Um, so just so that you guys are aware, we all have an endocannabinoid system. Um, it's broken up into two parts, the CB1 receptors and CB2 receptors. CB1 receptors are find, prim, find, found primarily in the brain and CB2 receptors are peripheral, such as in the gut, muscles and, other, and kidneys and other organs. Now, what's interesting is that curcumin has been shown to now interact with that same system. And it sort of makes me wonder whether many of the mood uplifting effects that people experience from curcumin might actually be attributed, attributed to the endocannabinoid system um, and also boosting nerve growth factor, um, which is a target that, you know, lion's mane and other nootropics seem to bind to and activate or strengthen. So, um, Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do share it around, leave a comment below. And if you're wondering where to purchase curcumin or a particular high quality curcumin that I recommend, you'll see a link to that particular product in the video description, um, which is standardized, standardized to contain a certain amount of endocannabinoids, um, sorry, curcuminoids. Um, so guys, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.